Neville knows what's going on. Uh, a lot of communication to the school has been blocked, and, and I think that the the Death Eaters and Voldemort are in control of whatever media uh, manages to get through, uh, whatever information comes through, that they're, they're in control of that. And I think that the students are hearing exactly what the Death Eaters want to tell them. But Neville's sort of gone underground a little bit. You know, he, he put up with the beatings and whatnot for the first few months. Um, and then when when they sort of had no longer any use for Neville, he went into hiding. And I think at this point he's been receiving information from, from Aberforth um, in the Hogshead through the tunnel. Uh, f uh, information from the outside world, really, about what's really going on out there. Which is why Neville's so ready to, to fight and to... to put up this resistance because he knows that it's not what they're making out it's not just hogwarts it's it's happening all over the world um and so he has to do something to to change that and um and yeah it's quite interesting seeing that that he's the one to do it <laughs> when neville didn't have anyone else there's always harry there that gave him a kind word uh, or told him that he could do it and um and so slowly as, ne as harry believed in neville Neville started to believe in himself, and there was always this this immense courage um, that Neville had. He had such a strong heart and will, but it was often covered up because of this this lack of confidence. And then when he started to believe in himself, all this courage that was was just bubbling under the surface starts to come out. And suddenly we see in number seven is this reckless um, freedom fighter that's just on autopilot. He just doesn't care about his own safety anymore, he doesn't care about surviving this war, as long as he does the right thing.